On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first man in history to walk on the moon. Millions of people watched the event, and after Buzz Aldrin joined Armstrong, the two spent about two and a half hours gathering lunar rocks to bring back for analysis. The success was a big win, not only for the United States, but for all of humanity, showing us what we can achieve through imagination and exploration. What many people don't know are the special sacrifices that had to be made in order to get astronauts up into space. It turns out that the major unsung heroes of space exploration are animals. Before space programs started sending people up into orbit, scientists couldn't figure what it would be like for a living organism to leave Earth's atmosphere. What would be the effects of weightlessness on a mammal? How would the body handle radiation from the sun? Instead of sending people up in such a risky situation, they sent monkeys, chimps, dogs, and other animals into space in order to analyze such effects. Unfortunately, since it was so early in the space race, the design process for constructing the vehicles was trial and error. If the launch or re-entry procedures were faulty, the animals had little chances of survival. In some cases, the spacecraft in which the animals flew were never recovered, leading many to suspect that there are several abandoned ships floating in orbit with dead animals. The first living organisms to make it into space and back were actually much smaller than a monkey or a dog. In 1947, a container full of fruit flies successfully flew 106 miles above the Earth and parachuted back without any apparent damage. Soon after that, space programs began sending up larger animals. They launched monkeys named Albert in a series of space missions known as the Albert Project. Unfortunately, most launches resulted in technical problems and animal deaths. More missions throughout the 50s offered more improvements, but the most famous and beloved space animal was Laika. A month after launching the first satellite into orbit, Sputnik 1, the Soviet Union surprised the world with an even more shocking plan. In 1957, Sputnik 2 launched, but this time, a dog named Laika was on board. Laika was a 13-pound female dog from the streets of Russia. Stray dogs were preferred for spaceflight because of their strength and their ability to survive in cold temperatures. Unfortunately, the flurry of press over Sputnik 1 caused the Soviets to quickly launch Sputnik 2, but the design for the new satellite was very poor. The Soviets even admitted, soon after the launch, that Laika wouldn't return home, and the satellite itself burned up in re-entry. Officials led people to believe, the dog survived in orbit, for as long as four days, before she died from overheating. However, in 2002, evidence revealed that, Laika actually passed away just a few hours after the launch, from a combination of heat and panic. Laika's death, encouraged Americans to talk more openly about the treatment of animals for the space race.